Hey YouTube, iTech News Daily here, bringing to you some information regarding the new Red Snow that was just released two days ago. This is for both Windows and Mac, and it is all over the uh, Raymond Pi blog. So let's take a look at what is new in Red Snow B7. First of all, there's quite a uh, quite a uh, there's a couple new features added into Red Snow regarding jailbreaking itself. There is now firmware support directly built into Red Snow. So this means that you will no longer need to use iTunes to actually restore your iPod. You can do it right from Red Snow. As for actually downloading the IPSW and loading it into Red Snow, I'm not sure if that has uh, also been covered in this. All I know is that you can restore using Red Snow. I'm not sure if the firmwares are built in. Most likely you will have to continue to manually download and load the IPSW into Red Snow. Corona A5 jailbreak for those iPhone 4S and iPad 2 users uh, running 5.0.1. There is an implantation into Red Snow for support for you guys. So this jailbreak tool is currently in the beta stage. As for the official release, uh, release I am not entirely sure. There has not been any release notes for the official release. However, a, a lot more information regarding the new Red Snow, which is now 0.9.10b7 for both Windows and Mac. All of the information can be found right here on the Raymond Pi blog. I'll have a link to it in the description. And now uh, for some news regarding the 5.1 untethered jailbreak. As of uh, Pod2G's Twitter post, I cannot go back and find it. I'm, I've am i kind of like lost it and everything, but it says that all exploits have been found. That means that they are now actually able to start creating the untethered jailbreak. Uh, as of when that will be released, I am not entirely sure. That has, the only news regarding it has been that all exploits have been found. So subscribe, uh, follow me on Twitter. I will keep you guys updated the uh, news regarding jailbreak, uh, all the jailbreaks and unlocks, and as well as other news to fill in the time until 5.1 is finally untethered. So again, subscribe to me, follow me on Twitter, and any questions, just go ahead and ask. This is iTech News Daily signing off.